Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to fertilize blackberries in the off season, the summertime. What should we do to make sure the plant has enough growth and support uh, to make a good crop next year, to make a good production, good harvest next year. So let me show you what I do uh, in my containers, and then I'll tell you what I would do if I was planting in the ground. So first of all, these are my Ponca blackberries, P-O-N-C-A, it's a new breed from the University of Texas. I've shown you a lot about them. Uh, it's time to fertilize. Now, I've already fertilized mine, but let me just show you what I did and tell you uh, what you uh, might want to do yourself. So what I've done is come in here with an organic, you can still see it a little bit, an organic fertilizer from Haas. It's a 543, I believe, uh, organic, uh, it's probably slow release to a certain extent, uh, fertilizer. I just spread about a half a cup all the way around these tubs. Being organic, being such low uh, in the NPK, it's not gonna burn them up. And I think I've, I, I'm already seeing, I think some evidence, some good growth. That is an Elma, pull that up. But I'm seeing some good growth already. That's a new cane right there that's come up since I uh, cleared out all the old vegetation, all the old growth last year's canes. But I just sprinkled it around. Got some dead leaves in here. That's just some blackberry leaves that have died and other leaves maybe that have blown in. But just spread it in here and, um, you know, it'd be best to cover it up, maybe cover it up with a layer of compost or even just spread compost on top of your containers if you're in containers. Just a, a good a fat layer of compost, an inch or so or, or more. That new cane is gonna pop right up through the compost. You're not gonna be smothering it out. Shouldn't be. Um, but if you're going to plant granular fertilizer like 10-20-10, triple 13, 10-10-10, 8 8 8 something like that, I wouldn't go any higher than a triple 13 uh, simply because blackberries have a, uh, a shallow root system. Uh, so you don't, want a, uh, you don't want a bunch of heavy fertilizer, hot fertilizer sitting on top and, uh, and burning, taking a chance on burning those roots. So what I would do if I was using a granular, and I may come back in a month and do this, uh, uh, in the summertime, I don't think it hurts in containers to fertilize once a month. Now, if you're in the ground, it's a different story. When you're in containers, that is a captive system. It's just like a little baby. If it gets anything to eat, if it gets anything to drink, you're the one that gives it to it. So it, it's, it can't go out and, and extend the root system out like it can when it's in the ground. That's the only thing bad about containers is uh, it takes a little more care because you have, to, uh, you have to understand that you are the one feeding it. You are the one watering it. Nature's not doing it. Nature will water these a little bit if it rains, but we had not got a whole lot of rain here lately. So if I was in containers and going to do granular, or what again, what I'll do maybe in a month, because I just did these the other day, I would come in here and just dig a little place out, just a little place out, really along the rim, around the rim, just as far away from that plant as you can get, and dig out maybe an inch deep, put about a tablespoon of fertilizer in there, 10, 10, 10, 8, 8, 8. If you go triple 13, I wouldn't do more than a tablespoon. Uh, and then cover it back up, if at all possible, and do that in about three places. Do it kind of in a triangle, here, here, put about a tablespoon there, Dig that out, put about a tablespoon there. Now you'll notice that in containers, these containers are full of roots. Uh, when I start trying to dig down, I'm hitting roots. This is a very root filled container. So that's why I say I wouldn't go more than a tablespoon and I would do it in a container, do it about once a month. Um, I don't think that's too much as long as it's just one tablespoon and three scattered out places. Uh, if you're doing triple 13, you may want to do a little bit less, maybe a, a, a teaspoon or something like that in three places, just simply because that triple 13 is pretty hot and you do have roots here that you're putting it down on. I don't think it's not really close to the mother plant, the mother, the, the main root system here, but just, uh, just put it in, scratch it out, put about a tablespoon in of, of your granular and cover it up and uh, in about three places. And I think you're good for a month. Do that again in about a month. They have to eat and uh, they, they can't just go, the roots can't go down in the ground and go out looking for something to eat, minerals as well as uh, food. And uh, like they can 
if they're in the ground. Now in the ground, I think you're just supposed to really fertilize uh, in the spring and then once again, maybe about this time of year or a little bit later, maybe September or something like that, fertilize and get your good root system going. I think probably a, a triple 13 or a triple eight, anything like that, a good balanced fertilizer would be good for that too. But I would, uh, if you're in the ground, I would stay in a foot away from the plant and do the same thing. Maybe if you're in a row, just do, you know, across the row, put some in, cover it up, maybe do it on the other side, maybe a tablespoon, something like that. I don't think you're gonna burn it like you might in a container. But I've used this method for several years uh, on my blackberries in containers, two, three years. And I've never burned any, never had a problem with it. Uh, and I don't think uh, you would either, unless you OD on the fertilizer. That's what I say, maybe a tablespoon here, tablespoon there, tablespoon there, and do it once a month. If it's triple 13, you may wanna back off and make it a, 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 a little bit less than a tablespoon. Uh, but if it's a triple eight, maybe a, a heaping tablespoon, a rounded tablespoon. And I've never burned anything. Now, why did I do organic? Uh, I, I put organic, all that residue right there you see is organic fertilizer. Why did I do that? Well, being as it's a closed system, I'm beginning to be a little concerned with salt buildup. Uh, commercial fertilizer, even, even the uh, triple, uh, 20 uh, water soluble, I believe would have uh, some salt residues and, and could could give you some salt uh, uh, buildup in your soil, in your containers. So for that reason, I did organic this time. Um, if you're um, if you're concerned about that, you may want to do an organic fertilizer. You may want, to, and you may be organic anyway, or you may want to do just a, a good layer of good compost on top. And I believe that would have the same effect, probably, you know, a good, nice layer of compost on top. Uh, and that way you're not as concerned um, or not as, as, as liable to have any, uh, any buildup. Now, I've been using commercial fertilizer in my, uh, on my Primark Freedoms. This is my third year to grow them. I haven't seen any evidence that there's a salt buildup. But again, just in case, I went ahead and did... Um, I did organic this time, and it's my understanding that a pelleted gypsum uh, will will help reduce the salts, uh, neutralize the salts. So I'm going to put some pelleted gypsum soon on top, and maybe try to work it in. But again, it's kind of hard to work in because it's roots. Almost all of that's roots. So salt is a concern of mine, although I haven't seen an issue with it yet. Uh, I haven't seen any evidences uh, of that problem yet. So uh, compost would be good, organic, triple uh, eight, triple 10, maybe triple 13. And if you're in, uh, in the ground, just do it maybe one more time in September, October, and get them ready for, um, to, to develop a good root system for uh, next year. And, but right now in containers, I'm feeding, I like to feed about once a month so I can get this good growth and get some good canes for next year because it's a closed system and they just, they have to have something to eat. So that's what I do. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you're doing. If you're in containers or if you're in the ground, how you fertilize, and that will help other people read the comments below and just see what's working for you and not just what's working for me. All right, I believe we're done and we're gone.